Eyewitness News continues to honor the contributions of African Americans to the Tar Heel State during Black History Month. And today we explore the story of a man who made a big impact on our country, but is mostly forgotten in Bladen County. Tim Pulliam shows us how George Henry White made his mark in Congress by going back to his hometown. In the late 1800s, North Carolina native George Henry White served two terms as the nation's only elected black representation in Congress until 1901. White, a Republican who was born a slave, also introduced the country's first anti-lynching bill. His legacy stretches past Congress. He started a law practice and a commercial bank for blacks up north, and he founded the town of Whitesboro, New Jersey. But for decades, in White's birthplace of Rosendale, Bladen County, just one hour south of Fayetteville, he seemed forgotten. Even though he left, you still honor a person's home. In 2010, Dorothy Bryan, a researcher of White's history, told me the county's disregard of any physical recognition of him was embarrassing. I, mean, I cannot understand why those people have not awakened to a native son's achievements. Fast forward to 2020, this is the George Henry White Memorial Center in Bladen County. It's a place where the community can gather for educational workshops, health and wellness seminars, all while honoring White's legacy. It needs to be something to do to uplift his name. We was concerned that he's sort of overlooking the mainstream of American history. Vincent Spaulding from Durham is a descendant of White. He saw the story and Brian's comments. That touched my heart. In 2014, his family launched a $120,000 fundraising campaign to renovate this donated home. So far, they've raised half of that with the goal of officially opening at the end of the year. Well, we feel uh, really, really good about that. His determination, his motivation to uh, empower people through economic uh, opportunities. And Spaulding says the GHW Center will also be a place where the community can get access to food. Bladen County's poverty rate is double the national average. George Henry White's legacy, living on in his birth county, a landmark that will aim to help others like he did. In Bladen County, Tim Pulliam, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Tim, thanks. And today was a snow day for kids all across.